Also, as a reminder, if you have not silenced your cell phones, please do, do so at this time. Thank you. Thank you, Anahit. I tried. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bari Ereko Tiknaikiev Baronaik. Welcome home, dear alumni. Guests, students, professors, President Martinez, we are happy to see you here. Let us introduce ourselves. This is Anahit Sukasian. She's a third year English and Communications major. And we are both proud AUA students. Oh, what a sight. Indeed, amazing. You all look really beautiful, every single one of you. How is life on the other side of the room? Full of adventures, responsibility. And income taxes. But yekak chumoranan kinchi hamar en kavakfel, and let us enjoy the moment. Tonight's theme is return, reflect, reconnect. We are happy to see you all here at our beloved alma mater. Hey, Baroner, akan jarek tapara kana shugin. Sirun tiknaik, jahel tagerk, lavush terekim khagin. 
մենք ամենքս յուր ենք կյանքում մեր ծննդյան փուչորից հերթով գալիս անց ենք կենում էս անցավոր աշխարից անց ենք կենում սեր ու խնդում գեղեցկություն գանձուգա մահը մերն է մենք մահինը մարդու գործն է միշտ ամա գործն է ամա լավ իմացեք որ խոսվում է դարեդար երնեք նրան որ իր գործով կապրի անվերջ անդաթար These verses by Hovhannes Tumayan the great Armenian poet express the beliefs of our founders founders Mihran Ahababyan Stepan Karamardyan Armen Derturakyan Yuri Saksyan and Luis Simon Manukyan Their bright vision and utmost dedication gave birth to AUA. They dreamt it and they did it. Today, the bright legacy of our founders lives on. And now let us invite to the stage the president of AUA, Dr. Karin Markides. Dear AUA alumni, and also all the students that I'm happy to see here, that will eventually become alumni. This is a time when we can all meet together, and I hope that you take this opportunity as much as possible. Well, dear alumni, welcome home. Uh, it is my sincere pleasure to welcome you back to your alma mater. I'm sure every one of you is full of emotions today as you reconnect with your fellow alumni and reflect on the days spent within the, these walls and this exciting and life-changing institution. Having been the president of AUA for only three months, I'm amazed of the wonderful development path it has gone through and uh, is in less than three decades. You and a joint force of now 4,500 alumni are indeed the most important outcome of AUA and that uh, the production of AUA. You take great, uh, we take great pride in your success and your achievements. As I've heard from a number of alumni, AUA's educational experience and spirit of excellence have provided you with the foundation that has complemented your professional journey. I would like to hear more about that after uh, in the evening. So please come and talk to me about this. Indeed, education is the most important investment we all have made in our lives. It is so wonderful that you have established this tradition of alumni homecoming reunions. This is the AUA's seventh alumni reunion, and this year we are happy to celebrate the anniversaries of the graduating classes of 1994, 1999, 2004, 2009, and 2014. And as you know, this year we have come together under the theme Return, Reflect, and Reconnect. Return to your alma mater, reflect on the days spent at AUA, and reconnect with the AUA community to renew friendships with the former classmates and professors, to meet the current students, the faculty and the staff, and to learn about new developments. On this occasion, we hope you will take pride in the accomplishments of our university where we stand together today. Last week, we had an alumni visit the campus and after a few minutes of looking around, she noted, I'm, I'm quite lost. The campus has changed so much. Indeed, 
Much like as you have advanced in your careers, the university has also changed and grown both physically and academically. And I promise you that that will continue. New graduate programs have been added. Five undergraduate programs have been launched and we are sure through uh, these expanded programs, graduates will make an even bigger difference in this historical phase of Armenia's development. I was very impressed to learn about the various ways of which you alumni already have been supporting your alma mater. From the first class that became one of the 100 pillars of AUA, named scholarships that have been established, and the Alumni Scholarship Endowment Fund that is thriving. At the end of August this year, the fund has grown to a market value of $170,280, making it possible to provide financial aid for 10 students. That is great. I want to thank you all for priceless way that you pay forward to students that follow in your footsteps and to the annual fund supporting the students' experience at your alma mater. Today, with the grown uh, number of uh, AUA alumni, we are well positioned to have a stronger impact on building a brighter fu future for Armenia. Thank you, Dr. Marquides. And now we invite you to watch a video prepared for this occasion. happiness as uh, before that I fell twice at a TOEFL test uh, even uh, with a high score of GMAT so you can imagine my feelings when I like get that acceptance letter to AA. Panic, then joy, then the relief after all the exam, then panic again. It was mixed emotions. First of all I realized that I have to close one door and open another and I thought do I really need this and then said yes let's go attitudes toward uh, the student when I uh, I recall that when I first uh, entered the university on the very first day of studies we were given a little brochure and uh, there was a picture of a student uh, standing in the middle, uh, surrounded by uh, some uh, emojis of uh, books, library, uh, professors, uh, etc. And everything was evolving around the student. And it, it showed to me that in this university I am the most important person. Uh, I can bring um, just simple example of uh, approach uh, methodology of studying. It's basically problem-solving approach. We were used to classical form of studying and when we came to university it was mostly like you have a task and you have to solve it. Opportunities, knowledge, 
and the most important hard work. Prospect, knowledge and achievement. Pride, professionalism, status. Respect, uh, emotions, fun. Skills, quality, opportunities. Once we have a talk with our professor and joking about another one, um, we were surprised that the professor told us that uh, the, another professor whom about we are talking uh, was his wife. Uh, we were doing focus group discussions with women uh, to explore their um, attitude and knowledge to child feeding practices and during one of the focus group discussions no women showed up and we were really stressed. Students at that time thinking that we didn't fulfill our assignment and uh, weren't able to gather students. However, when we went to the professor who was leading this project and were kind of informing her that, sorry, but nobody showed up, said, oh, but the food is still there, right? We can go and eat. Being a student in a UA, I worked for an Armenian software company, and we started a project with US companies. When it was the first business trip there. Suddenly I understood that nothing strange here is going. Whatever is going here, I already know from my university studies. I can note that I got three main skills from AUA that I use daily. It's ability to do research, communication skills and presentation skills. I see AUA in future as a research intensive university producing PhD students for Armenia. I would wish AUA to stay one of the leading universities in Armenia and in the region and would advise to interact more and to cooperate with the private sector, especially for MBA <coughs> programs. Because there are people with disabilities and maybe people who can't travel every day to AUA, maybe from regions of Armenia, I would like to see an off for their future. I will always remember that before a long break we were calling the guy who was working in the booth downstairs to prepare sandwiches for us so we can make it in time for the next class. I will always remember the years full of expectations, difficulties, uh, good memories and my friends. I will always remember AUA as it changed my mindset and helped me to get my dream job. Uh, I will always remember my course mates, my professors, and that there was no salt in cafeteria because Armenian was the president of AUA and he was the head of public health program. I will always remember uh, Professor Harutun Armenian uh, and his saying, uh, mind is like a parachute. It works well when it is open. I will always remember the time spent at AUA because it makes the globe closer to me. Oh wow! Anahit, can you imagine us in the reunion film 10 years from now? Yeah, why not? You know, I have a question for you. What do you think was AUA like 10 years ago? Hmm, quite different, I believe. Okay, I have one more question. What is it going to look like in the future? Hmm, I know somebody who can answer that question. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to invite to the stage the Provost Dr. Randall Rhodes. So now that you're all back at the university, you have to get a PowerPoint. Oops. Where do I point the clicker? There we go. Today at AUA. OK, so for those of you who have been away for a while, we launched our undergraduate bachelor's programs in 2013. 
We started with just three, English communications, business, and computer science. So since then, we've added two more programs in the past three years. We've added engineering sciences and data science. So, so far, we've graduated three cohorts of bachelor's graduates, 27, class of 2017, class of 2018, and class of 2019. In terms of grad programs, we've added one in the past few years, and in 2017, we added the Master of Science in Strategic Management within the College of Business. Future directions, as everyone has been eagerly anticipating, we'll add a couple more masters. We're looking at the areas, especially of education, to help the teachers in Armenia, and also doctoral programs. So we have a couple negotiations in the work, and we hope that in a couple years, all of you can come back to AUA in order to get another degree. Okay, in terms of facilities, it's much easier in my classroom. Okay, so some things that are going to open up very soon. We're going to have a student residence hall. It's about a 20, 25 minute walk. Uh, they were, buildings were donated by the Najarian family, and uh, they are next to the Parajanov Museum by the Lebanese Embassy. They're right on the edge by the gorge. It'll be completed next June, so we will have occupancy for our international students coming for June 2020. It'll be, have about 60, 61 beds on several different floors, and the rooms on the first floor will be handicapped accessible. The other Najarian building is going to be a center for social entrepreneurship. That'll open up in about 14 months from now. Our Acopian Center for the Environment will go there, as well as our Center for Research in Applied Linguistics. The purpose of that building is to have more of a face out to the community, again, to provide a lab uh, for teachers, current teachers, to develop their pedagogies in the 21st century, and the Ecopian Center with its various initiatives geared towards K-12 through education. Uh, will organize various conferences and various workshops at that center. Also, because it is right next to the gorge, the Ecopian Center will conduct uh, soil analysis, air analysis, water analysis in the urban environment of Yerevan. Now, the latest uh, development is we just received ASHA approval, and we will begin the public hearings and the planning for what we're calling Triangle Park. You all know it. It is the land right behind the buildings at campus. So we are given that land by the municipality for 25 years on the condition that we invest in it. So if we invest money in it, uh, we are going to use the money from ASHA USA in order to make it into a living learning lab where we will have various experiments in sustainable energy, in water runoff, in reintroducing indigenous species of plants. Uh, and this will be used not only by our students uh, within our engineering and computer science programs, but it will also be a living lab for K through 12 for the community and a focal point for conversations about the urban space and the ecosystem systems that exist within Yerevan. So we hope to have many uh, intriguing conversations with policymakers, lawmakers, those who are interested in Yerevan sustainability issues, and use this as a testing ground that could be exported to other green spaces uh, within the city and the country. Now, everyone wants to know about money. So just to give a couple little slides, uh, the revenue sources from 2018-2019, the last fiscal year, total revenues were about $11 million. So to give you a sense, where does the money go? 
uh, where does the money come from? Tuition makes up about 35, 38% of the revenues we take in. You know, it is our mission to ensure that students around Armenia have access to higher education. So it's very important that education is affordable. Many of you here have been recipients of our tuition assistance program. So because we are so mindful of the economic situations in the country, um, we obviously do not take uh, much revenue. So that's 38%. Our endowment incomes are 20%. Individual contributions, philanthropy, 14%. Revenue from operations, our auxiliaries, 20%. And the grants and that come in through our research centers, approximately 8% of our total revenue. Now, where, uh, where do all of you live and all of those alumni who unfortunately could not be with us today? So here, graduate alumni, 71% are in Armenia. So that, we think, is an excellent return. In terms of undergraduates, and again, we have only graduating, graduated three classes, 86% of our bachelor's graduates are still within Armenia. Uh, so um, again, we're five, 77 percent of our students apply for tuition assistance. And of that 77 percent, um, oh, we're applying for you. Oh, 77 percent of our students applying for tuition assistance get it. 55 percent average reduction in their tuition. So, and of our international students, they are eligible for merit scholarships, so all of them get some degree of merit scholarships to make Armenia a good higher education destination. According to law, we have to recirculate the tuition we receive back into the financial aid pool. According to ROA law, we only have to recirculate 10% back, but we recirculate 25% of the tuition revenue back into supporting other students. So already, we built into the system a sense of giving back and collective contribution. Oh. Western style education, accreditation. Yes, and more importantly, as students graduate from AUA, they become members of the ever-growing AUA alumni family. They stay in touch with their alma mater. We are also the only university in the country, if not in the region, that has an alumni database maintained and constantly updated by the Office of Alumni Relations. Currently, we have about 4,500 alumni. Impressive, isn't it? It is really cool. Let's see how many alumni are present today in this auditorium. Could I ask all AUA alumni present here to please stand up? Now that's impressive. And since most of you are standing in the hall, could I ask everyone to stand up? Uh, I have a really cool idea. So. We're going to do a little bit of musical exercise. <laughs> no, it's not, not that musical, come on. Uh, so I want you to repeat after me. This is really simple. Everyone knows this. Great. Continue. A U A. A U A. A U A. A U A. Woo! Bravo. Thank you, everyone. Let's give another round of applause to ourselves. That was very nice. Thank you, everyone. And let me share one more interesting thing. 
Three years ago, AUA came up with an initiative called Distinguished Alumni Award. When alumni nominate other alumni for their professional achievements, community service, and continuing active relationship with the university, all alumni participate in the voting. The moment has come to reveal this year's Distinguished Alumni Award recipient. It is our honor to announce the name of this year's winner. And the winner is... David Akopian, MBA graduate of year 1993. Would you like to invite Mr. first year MBA graduate Anna Hitordian to present the Distinguished Alumni Award winner, David Akopian. Thank you, Anahit. Thank you, Adam. Randall, how were you handling this? <laughs> it is falling apart. All right. Okay, dear alumni, dear students, it really gives me special pleasure to introduce a classmate of mine. You know that I am one of the first MBA graduates of AUA, and I am happy that my friends are also here sitting from our class. And uh, let's see what David has accomplished since our graduation 27 years ago, so that you all voted for him to become the distinguished alumnus of this year. But before that, excuse me, let's go back. Did I do this? No. Yeah, so I wanted uh, all of us to remind that we have three distinguished alumni. Let's remember, we have <coughs> Hovane Savoyan, Pixart, we have Gajik Gulbudagyan, Grant Thornton, and you know Mane Tandilian was here last year uh, in the parliament, okay? Nusavur Hayastan. So in the steps of this wonderful alumni, this year, we already have our classmate, David Hakopian, MBA in 93. Look at his um, smile. <laughs> because, you know, I am amazed. You will re be surprised to see what really career he has had. But every time we meet, I say, David, how do you manage to smile all the time? You know, there are so many, so many challenges uh, on your desk, but that's David. Okay, Stella, how do I go? All right. Okay, so here is a moment from his graduation. As many of you, he was on the stage of this auditorium. As you see, it's Andrani Kavartakan, 93. And then, guess what? AUA was a venue to change the major because he came with his theoretical physics complicated background and then PhD in laser physics, etc. But that was the year in 1991 when we came, and then here you are. There is this business administration department, and then really with all theoretical background, he became a wonderful MBA graduate. Look at the countries that David has served in, in UNDP uh, service. So 25 years, let me read the countries here, starting from Armenia, he started his work in Armenia, UNDP, then Latvia, Tajikistan, Moldova, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Somalia, Syria, Kenya, Trinidad and Tobago, USA. The positions that he held, UNDP National Officer, Program Advisor, Chief Technical Advisor, Resident Representative, Country Director. And of course, you know, when Randall was mentioning about 29% uh, alumni being abroad, I should say many of them uh, represent Armenia abroad in international organizations. So it is also important for our country to represent it uh, with professionalism and dignity, which David and a number of my classmates have really done uh, since graduation. 
And then guess what? He led many multinational teams of professionals uh, implementing projects for those countries' development, uh, how to reduce poverty, um, have better governance, public administration, and all kinds of challenging conflict resolutions. Look at this, 10 years in the most dangerous spots of the world. And Afghanistan, Somalia, Syria, we would not dream to be there, let alone to work there. And here is a sentence from David. Please read it very carefully, and I will read it for you too. These were years of intense and life-threatening experiences that also tested my own resilience. In those dangerous situations, I did not know to call my family or to provide leadership to my colleagues. So really very, very difficult situations. Syria, the last uh, three years, so really you know the situation, but all kinds of projects, all kinds of challenges there. Here, forums, discussions, uh, plans, and the smile is there. In Somalia, this is really a challenge. And, you know, he met with the prime minister in Somalia. And then this one shows he flies uh, with a group of Somalia women for peace talks. You know, it seems like women are great in peace negotiations. I especially like the picture in the center. Uh, dirty ground, you know, uh, but that's David. Very, very simple, very friendly, uh, very nice. And look at this. I wanted to put this slide in the presentation, and that's the transport that he would often use because, uh, really, that was very, very dangerous uh, environment that he worked. And in Somalia, after all difficult years, he received, you know, all kinds of thank yous, um, you know, and this one is from the Minister of Planning, um, Economy, Business Development, etc. So, uh, really, wherever he served, uh, he, he received the, the wonderful prizes, the wonderful thank you letters. No? Afghanistan. In Afghanistan, in 2010, he organized the elections which were uh, recognized as the best by the UN Security Council. And uh, here in Kandahar, where Taliban was born, imagine this is where in the least secure, secure places he had his work mission. In Kyrgyzstan, again, national ward uh, with Kofi Annan, with the President Akayev. So really, he led uh, all high-level efforts to, you know. And while doing all of that, he stayed in touch with the UA. A lesson for all of us, for everybody and students for future. And here, you see Marina is there. She's sitting right here. And um, you see, in New York, we have this UN chapter. And this is a picture, Suren, you are there, when our group visited the AGBU office, which has been our continuous supporter from day one. Uh, you know, and then we had another nice round table here at the AUA that they flew over to be part of our anniversary. OK. And of course, he was very active in all our fundraising efforts because our class started, you know, with this alumni scholarship endowment fund that we are very grateful and happy that found continuation because we started with $24,000. And as uh, um, Dr. Markides mentioned, it is now 170000 And I'm sure it will grow even further today. And then, um, you know, we became one of the 100 pillars. So again, David was here, happy with us, next to the Czech. So we are very, very happy that despite all challenges, he was with us for any initiative we had. 
And then here is a case that Randall was saying, come deliver seminars, talk to students. That is exactly what David did because given all his rich experiences, there was so much to share and really to encourage uh, to become global citizens and to understand many others. All right, where are we now? And of course, he was very active uh, in service to society. But at the end, I wrote even acted as a UA and Armenia's ambassador in all countries served. Okay, a proud alumnus of a UA. Okay, I think this was it. I wanted to share with you. I believe you agree that uh, we do have a real distinguished alumnus. Yes, for this year. Not everybody goes to uh, Syria and Kenya and everywhere. So, unfortunately, David is not here today. Uh, we have, of course, the trophy uh, prepared uh, with his name that when he comes next time, he will get it and we will have a meeting with students and alumni together. But when we learned that he was uh, selected and we informed him I said David would you mind sending us a video message and he said of course I'm so honored so now I would like to ask to show the video message that David sent to our audience for today's event so thank you this is what I wanted to say let's listen to David um, good evening, dear AUA community, alumni, students, staff, and faculty. I was very honored, very much honored and humbled when I learned the news about my nomination for the Distinguished Alumni for the Year. I know that among my fellow AUA alumni friends and colleagues, there are many high achievers performing and doing a great job for the country, for the world, wherever they are currently. Uh, I wish I was with you in person today. I'm quite far, far away. I'm in Trinidad and Tobago, one of these amazing Caribbean islands. And whenever I have a chance, I surely will visit you and will try to see as many of you as possible. Uh, allow me to reflect on what AUA gave me. It was time ago, but I still, the memories are fresh and I have always deep appreciation. Uh, I came to AUA, I was already established professional, I had a PhD in laser physics, I was elected a member of the Yerevan City Council. However, when I look back in retrospect, who I was at the end of years and after, and uh, until and now we are thinking together and we are doing some major efforts also to help our alma mater back and to help the new generation, the next generation of AUA students. After I finish my AUA studies, I soon after I joined the United Nations Development Program, first in Armenia, and then I had this amazing opportunity for the last 25 years to travel the world. I worked in almost 12, 13 countries in almost all continents, in so many different sub-regions, with different cultural setting, with different set of challenges, and I enjoy every single one of them. I worked the last 10 years in crisis, war crisis affected countries, Afghanistan, Somalia, and Syria, and probably this was my best, I mean, each of them was my best career opportunity. I learned a lot about the human beings, about the challenges, and about myself, how to keep and deliver under those challenges. Each of these experiences deserves writing a book, and one day when I have a bit of peace of mind, mind I will try to do so. Whenever I have a chance to come to Armenia, and I said, like, I visit Yerevan at least once a year, sometimes two times a year, uh, one of the, my first steps is to come to AUA. And I see so first to visit friends, to visit my colleagues, but also to see this evolving environment, evolving atmosphere. There's so much positive energy in there, and they get so much positive expectations for the future after every my visit. I truly admire the new generation of AUA students also. They are limitless, they are fearless, they are looking to open new boundaries, 
they don't scare of unknowns and they are happy to change to, to, to change the world they are living and change, and then to make it a better place for all of us. And then allow me to give my three pieces of advice to the next generation. Also, I mean some new coming alumni and also the students also. It was excellent milestone in your learning experience. Keep pushing for this, never stop learning. The world is changing and you need to change with the same or even with a better speed to be competitive. Don't get fixated on the problems. Every problem has a solution and I've seen many of them in my life. And try to, you are the future leaders, so you need to find the solution and you need to people toward those solutions. Focus on what you can give for the nation uh, or for the world, in my case, and don't only depend on what depend on what world or the nation or the country or the community need to give to you. Serve and you will be served. And this is my final message. And thank you so much for this opportunity to talk to you and looking forward to our next meeting in person. of a champion, man. The seas for the courage I possess through the trauma. Hate is for the hurt, but it's all for the honor. A is for my attitude, walking through the patience. Money comes and goes, so the M is for motivation. Guys, stay consistent, the peace to persevere. The I is for integrity, innovative career. The O is optimistic, open and never shut. And the N is necessary, cause I'm never giving up. See, they ask me how I did it, I just did it from my heart. Setting the composition, be doing it from my heart. Cause I'm saying that a champion is all about his principles. And I Unstoppable. And say what? They can't hurt me now. A champion I am.
But my body is a shame, I'm man Piecing myself together, teaching myself To never let one loss to force my development To focus on a more passionate game Never prevent being born, but a champion, mate And I am Thank you. And we're back again. Thank you, Amara Smehabian, AUA sophomore, and Rafael Avakian, AUA senior, for such a spirited performance. Let us give us another round of applause. Now, it's time to ask our alumni whose anniversary is today to come to the stage. <laughs> Graduates of 1994, 1999, 2004, 2009, and finally 2014, please come to the stage. I know it's hard to move while you're sitting so for so long, but we have prepared gifts for you. <laughs> What a reunion! Come on, up the stage! You got, everyone is so beautiful, lovely! Let us give a big round of applause for everyone on the stage! Let us remind you that the t-shirts are outside and you can still contribute to this amount. Launching this event, new traditions were created, and one of them is passing the torch of success. Let us invite class of 2000 alumna Marine Jamkochen to get the torch from Arturo Sikian, class of 1991, to ensure the continuation of having alumni reunion next year too. The torch. <laughs> and now, it is time for us to take a photo of the whole alumni that are here today. Everyone who's alumni get on stage so we can take a photo.
Aşkare zurte. Maskevatla gidiyoruz iş zurta. Yula. Bak kutka kıversene. Tam teri gradusu Ba, sağ Amerikan. Trumpli nerede? Amerika hiç ben ha. Can everyone take a look to the photographer? Ah, foto en anım. The photographer in the in the middle of the hall. So. One, two, three. Lovely. Dear guests, it was an immense pleasure for us to host this memorable event. This is, a, this is an important day, both for you, former AUA students, and for us, the current AUA generation. You may take your seats, but take your time for a selfie. Aren't these moments the best? Reuniting with your class after so many years. Everyone looks lovely. Everyone is having so much fun. Dear guests, it was an utmost pleasure for us to host this memorable event. This was a memorable day, both for you, former AUA students, and for us, the current AUA generation. And now, every time I see you, I'm on fire. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome the awesome Nemra Rock Band. Enjoy!
I don't care. What did you get me to say this way? I'm showing you now all my thoughts. I know we did things that were wrong, but I hope we're both we'll so strong. I know we did things that were wrong.
But baby, now we never will of crazy Left together, can't you see what you mean to me? No one knows that, no one feels that Fire and spirit, the mix together I am blind in my mind Where is the love? Where is the light? Where is the feeling that brings us to the light? Where is that passion? Where is the romance? Sweet satisfaction, let's give them a chance. Nobody did it and allowed me to play Cause I really needed to stay by my side Days and night They take me way to highest mountains To the land of singing fountains Cause we're free as you and me Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the feeling that brings us to the light? Հազրաստել, բեր տեսնենք, եթե դուք երկեք կնովակ ենք, եթե չէ, իմ աշտ չունի։ Երկը եսպես է։ Ոնց էր ես երկը։ Հնես տպավեցնեմ, ոնց էր փող ենք, տվե, որ կտա մալատեց։ Ապ, 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 ա� Կարակ ես երկեք Հիմա դուք լավ ես շարկը հասկացանք, բա ես շարկերը շարկներ հասկացանք, բայց է շարկ ինչ-որ։ Ապապարա, 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 I won't be back again, I know you feel the same. It's not an easy game But words past is past It's filled with dust It's time to say goodbye Oh darling, please don't cry I won't be back again 
But I'm really sure you'll find new friends. Wapa ba ra wapa ba ba ra wapa ba ra ba. Wapa ba ra wapa ba ba ra wapa ba ra ba. At night I hear your voice. I'm sorry, girl. I had no choice. But if you want to try again, beautiful, come and stop this play. No. Breaking up is hard. I left with a bleeding heart. You didn't try again, and the plane has flown from the crying zone. 'Cause what's past is past. It's filled with dust, my love. Bolero, wapa bara. I said, Wapa, Bara, Wapa, Bara, Wapa, Bara, Bara. We've kissed under the rain and we were fooling around like hens. We lost the time, we found the stars, but all that remains are scars. We've kissed under the rain, and we were falling around like hell. We lost the time, we found the stars, but all that remains are scars. Our scars. My love. Merci Chat, Chat Lavnik. Tu es amas Chat, je t'ai dit que tu es un peu plus de opera, de la vie de la
every time I see you, I'm on fire. Said I do not love you, I'm a liar. Every time I see you, I'm on fire. I said that I do not love you. Every time I see you, I'm on fire. I said I don't love you, I'm a liar. Every time I see you, I'm on fire. I said that I do not love you. Every time I see you, I'm on fire. I said I do not love you, I'm a liar. Every time I see you, I'm on fire. I said I do not love you, I'm a liar. Every time I see you, I'm on fire. I said I do not love you, yeah, Jake. I said every time I see you. I said I don't love you Every time I see you Little bit louder Every time I see you I said I don't la 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 Every time I see you I'm on fire I said I do not love you I'm a liar Show your love to me Spread that energy Repeat that you love me I swear That you will never swear To another man Or I will kill you, I swear But hey, why should I be afraid? She loves rock and roll She was born with the title It was the night to do And I guess I'm glad she loves me too We both never gonna freak her Hardly too But the way that she feels Just to lose my plate I'm in love with a girl, she loves rock and roll She was born when kid died, it was in 1994 And I guess I'm blessed, she loves me too Hope I'm never gonna break her heart in two And the way that she moves makes me lose my place She gets me hot every time with your angel's face I'm in love with a girl, she loves rock and roll I'm in love with a girl, she loves rock and roll She was born when kid it was a 94 I guess no blast Oh, she loves me Now the way that she moves She's gonna lose my place She gets me high every time With the ranger's face I'm in love with the girl She loves rock and roll oh. It's not about the cherries. Trek verev nerkev zahyevach. I'll give you the time as much as you need I know that will come and we gotta be I know I can wait for the fire now What do you need a feeling? Like? What? 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 I'm just gonna wait, I'm 
until time is right Until you are ready, ready to start You have to believe in light and life The more as you close, the harder you fight I want you to jump and I want you to know I'm here for you, there is a road I want you to jump, I want you to know I'm here for you When there is ground Just a girl, you more than my friend I love every second that we spend You pour it in my heart and you piss in my soul Your smile is my light and you laugh is my goal Just look at me now, just look at my eyes What do you see there? all oh, your eyes? I give you the time, as much as you need I know there will come a week, y'all I mean, Yes, I give you the time, as much as you need I know there will come a week, y'all I mean, And I want you to know I'm here for you Till it will grow I want you to jump And I want you to know I'm here for you And tell us let's go You know Tell us grow And I want you to know We love you so much I'm tired to say that so I want you to know And I want you to know We love you so much Well, I wanted to tell, but I wanted to know Tell me for your terrible glow I want you to tell, but I want you to know I'm here for you And tell it's good Wow. <laughs> we hope you leave this auditorium with a deep appreciation of your time at AUA and a strong commitment to continue putting your energy and enthusiasm to good use to make this world a better place. We invite all of you to the cafeteria for cake cutting. Have a good evening. See you next year.